Hello and uh, welcome to erpwebtutor.com. This is Sari Deep once again. And in the previous tutorial, we talked about the flex field, and we promised that in this tutorial, we will talk about uh, the Oracle screens and how the flex fields are being set up, and also uh, how they are being used uh, uh, when we create uh, the job assignment for an employee. So let's log in and see how uh, which responsibility or which menu we need to go to to, to create uh, the flex fields. So we are logging in as demo user and uh, once we log in we will see the list of responsibilities here. Uh, we need to go to system administrator. Underneath that we go to application. Under application we have flex field under flex field, we have key and descriptive. In this case, we're going to see the setup for job, which is a key flex field. And we'll click on flex field and then segments. So once we are uh, in the key flex field segments form, we need to search for the job flex field because it's already provided by Oracle. We can add multiple structures to it and define the different segments for the structure that we define. So we need to go to the query mode, which is F11. On the flex field title, we're going to type in job flex percent and hit control F11. <clears throat> and then we see all the structures that we have defined. So we see the application is human resources and this is the flex field that we have defined and uh, we are going to take a look at the, the, the setup for this flex field and we have used this flex field structure to create the jobs and then assign those jobs to the employees. So demo US job flex field. Uh, this is the structure. This is the title. So if we try to create another one, we're going to, let's say we will type in test uh, job flex field uh, once we press tab it's going to copy the same uh, data that we typed in the code uh, we can just you know, make it a uh, proper case and remove the underscores so this would be uh, how we would define our the flex field structure. So in this case, we won't save it. We will just we're just trying to show you what we need to do. We can just save it here, and uh, once we save it, we need to go to the segments. So let's just uh, remove this, and let's go to the one we have, and then we click on the segments. Remember, we spoke about multi-segmented. So in this case, we have two segments. The segment one and two are the two uh, table columns that we are using to store the information. And uh, for this, our demo company, we are using uh, two segments, which are the job codes and the job names. So we assign a sequence number here and we define the, uh, what's the, the name of the first uh, segment would be what's the prompt and which column in the table we're going to use and what's the value set so let's copy these value sets and uh, let's try to create just the same one um, with a different uh, structure we will just use the value sets here And uh, that way you'll have a better understanding of what we actually do when we create these. So, so let's go back and say test job flex field. And then let's leave it like this. Let's save it. And we clicked on segment. We sequence number one. Let's say job code. It automatically populates this 
and these are the columns that you can use uh, to store so normally we would use them in a sequence the first one we normally use segment one and then two and so on and uh, we just copied the the value sets so the code we'll be using it for code and then it gives us warning just ignore it and then let's say job description and let's use segment two and use the value set demo us job name and then let's save it again ignore this and it say it says transaction complete two records applied and saved so your segments are defined but the work is not done yet you see this small checkbox called freeze flex field definition so you have just defined but in order to use the flex field that you have just defined you need to make sure that it is being this checkbox is checked this freeze flex field definition is checked so once you check that and save it or compile it it's going to generate the flex field definitions and all the the necessary uh, background processes would take place to make this flex field usable so make sure that you check this this is very important you can get this warning that you need, you're you're freezing it but don't worry about it say okay and uh, definitely you can say compile or you can just say save compiling flex field definition it's going to generate a view and was compiled successfully and then the flex field view will be generated accordingly and once you do this you'll see that if i go back to the segment and try to add a third segment i cannot the reason being this checkbox if i have to add a third segment you know my i'm implementing it for a company and the company says oh no we need to add a third segment to the job so i need to come back here uncheck it it will give me all these messages okay and then again save it come back to the segments and now you can add it so make sure that if you are using it you freeze it and then if you want to modify any of the existing uh, the segment or you want to add a segment to it just uncheck this box save it go to the segments and make your changes and make sure again that once you're done with your changes you freeze it so this is how you set up uh, the job flex field or i mean any flex field setup is, is going to be the same you just query for the flex field from the flex field title and then if you are making changes to an existing structure you unfreeze it add or modify an existing segment and then save it freeze it so that's uh, what we do in key flex field setups and in the next tutorial, we'll see, uh, we're going to use the demo job flex field as our uh, test case. So in the next tutorial, we're going to see how we have added the values to those value sets that we have just seen. Uh, the demo US job code and demo US job name. We will take a look at those value sets. And we'll also take a look at how we are creating jobs and how those created jobs are being used. Uh, to be added to the assignment of an employee so at this point we will leave it uh, and we will take a look at the, the value set and creating jobs in the next tutorial so until then yeah you enjoy and uh, i hope you learn or collapse and have fun